We're now on our part two of the Filipino precedents and their contributions in the development of science and technology in the Philippines. This is still in our playlist in Science, Technology, and Society. So this is already in the part two. Recall in the part one, we have talked about presidents Carlo P. Garcia, Ferdinand Marcos, and Corazon Aquino. In this um, video, we're going to talk about the contributions under their administrations in science and technology in particular of President Fidel B. Ramos, Joseph Estrada, and Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. And let's start. Let's start first with President Fidel B. Ramos. That's his picture. Okay. And under his under his um, presidency, there there is a significant increase in personnel specializing in the science and technology field, which is a good um, a good part, okay, of his of his term. Okay, addition to Philippine science high schools, especially in the Visayas and the Mindanao areas, government provided thirty five hundred scholarships for students who were taking up professions related to science and technology. So, which uplifted the courses or degrees under science and technology in the STEM, the STEM parts, STEM courses. Or degrees, schools were becoming more modernized and updated with the additional of high tech equipment for students. So this is the the first movement for it. Priority for science and technology personnel increased when the Magna Carta for science and technology personnel, also known as Republic Act number no. eight four three nine, was established. Award was published in order to give incentives and rewards for people who have been influential in the field of science and technology. Um, this is also called as the Investors and Inventions Incentive Acts, Incentives Act rather, or the Republic Act number seven four five nine. So which, um, you know, which which developed um, the 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 science and technology more in the Philippines, and you know motivated those who will you know go into science and technology. Programs such as National Program for Gifted Filipino Children in Science and Technology was enacted. And was uh, pushed through. Also, under President Ramos, and there is an enactment of a law creating a, na a nationwide system of high schools specializing in the field of science and engineering. This is known as the Science and Technology Scholarship Law of 1994. Enacted also the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines, which is very clear now, under also known as the Republic Act number 8293. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it for President Fidel Ramos's Ramos' um, developments under his administration of science, under science and technology. Now let's move on to our next president. This is President Joseph Estrada. That's his picture. Um, Joseph Estrada only has ruled or, you know, um, have his term in the presidency for like three years. Okay, so pretty much um, he has only... only um, you know, less, um, what do you call that, enactments or laws regarding science and technology since he only lasted for three years. And let's not talk about that why in this video. So, President Strada launched a full-scale full -scale program based on cost-effective irrigation technologies. He also established one science high school in every province. Okay, and he advanced the industries and schools into the internet age this is where the time where the internet is you know getting the, the world is getting closer and closer via globalization and he also passed the e-commerce act okay so that's it for um, president estrada let's move on to our last president in this video in this list which is president gloria macapagal arroyos arroyo rather sorry gloria macapagal arroyo that's her so under um president Arroyo's time, the science and technology sector of the Philippines was dubbed as the golden age okay, during her term. Okay, um, So we have numerous laws and projects that concerns both the environment and science to push technology as a tool to increase the country's economic level. So um, again, it's dubbed as the golden age. So, you know, the term Filipinovation, okay, Filipinovation. Was the, was the coin term used in helping the Philippines to be an innovation hub in Asia. Okay, so this is under um, the rule or the rule, the presidency of President Aquino, uh, President Arroyo rather, sorry, President Gloria Arroyo. 
also under President Arroyo's time, Science, Technology, and Innovations, known as SDI, was developed further by strengthening the schools and education, educational system, such as the Philippine Science High School, or the PSHS, which focuses in science, technology, and mathematics in their curriculum. She also imposes Republic Act 10601, which improves the agriculture and fisheries sector through mechanization, also known as AF Mech. Okay, so pretty much in this uh, module, we're done with all the presidents. So we have talked about presidents Carlos P. Garcia, Ferdinand Marcos, Corazon Aquino, Fidel V. Ramos, Joseph Estrada, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, and their status of science technology during their administration. So that's it for this second video. Um, maybe I just need to give you credit. Okay, for all my videos from STS 5, Science and Technology, Science Technology in Society 5, STS 6, and STS 7, part 1, and including this video, the part 2, um, I will give the credit to this site, okay, where I took my the content, most of them, and also for all the photos, photographs of the presidents from this site. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I, this is the part 2 of 2 video in our Filipino presidents and their contributions in the development of science and technology in the society. Science and technology in the Philippines, rather. Okay, so that's it for this batch of videos. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, and I'll be making more. Okay, surely I'll be making more. So thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.